Hey guys, Tom from GG Smoothie here. And in this video, I would like to talk about managing out of stock inventory. I have my collection here. And as you can see, the first two products are sold out and there's absolutely no value why I should show them to my customers, especially if it's not possible to create pre-order or, uh, or subscribe to some kind of back in stock notification. So there's absolutely no value and no reason why these should be on the very prominent space like this. They should be at the end of the collection, right? And there are a couple of ways how you can get rid of them. The first one, and probably the most obvious one, is setting the product to draft status. As you can see, the product now disappeared, but the problem is it now returns 404 error, which Google really doesn't like. And this is basically what you don't want to do as well, because it can hurt your uh, rankings. The exact same thing happens when you unpublish the product from the online store. It will disappear from the online store, but it will return the 404 error. So don't do that, right? Now, what you can do is if you are using automatic collections, you can add a rule which will say inventory stock is greater than zero and make sure that only products that are in stock are actually listed in the collection. The problem here on my store is that I'm using multiple different conditions and I need to use the any condition rule. So basically, if any conditions from these matches, the product will be displayed. So it basically the inventory stock rule is ignored and it doesn't work in my case, right? But it may work in your case. So just for your information, this may resolve your issue. Another option may be using Shopify flow and setting up a custom flow when the inventory changes. And if the product is out of stock, you can unpublish the product, right? Which is essentially optimizing what I've showed you manually, changing the product status to draft. And there is still the 404 error. So the only advantage is that it does it automatically. What I recommend is not hiding the products at all because you still want to display them to your customers, but instead you want to push them at the end of the collection, right? So they are there, they are not visible, but if someone accesses the link uh, from the Google search, the link will be valid. Now, how to do that? Unfortunately, in the sorting, there is nothing like in stock first. So if you are using the manual collection, you can probably manually sort the products, which takes a really long time. But if you want to do it uh, automatically, you need to install a third party app. I will now show you how our app Nada does that and handles these cases. I now install the app and I can decide whether I want to hide the products or just sort the collection. What I want to do in my case is I want to keep the products visible, but I want to put them at the end of the collection. So I will select the collection I've just shown you and I will click on enable sorting. You can also select all collections, obviously. And the auto sorting is now in progress. And as you can see, it's now done. And every time in the future, any product will go in stock or out of stock. It will basically always keep the collection sorted. So let's see how it works. I will now refresh the collection. And you can see the sold out products already disappeared from the top and they are actually at the end of the collection. And here at the bottom of the collection, they are all the sold out products. You can also choose the method of the sorting, either best selling product title, newest, oldest, and so on, or even manually, while still pushing the sold out products to the end. Using Nada, you can also hide sold out products, which uh, is fairly easy. You just click the button or you can set up a low stock notifications to your email. So for example, if some of the product gets below the threshold, you will automatically receive a notification. The advantage of using Nada when hiding the sold out products is that you can essentially set up a redirect. So there will never be a 404 error on your store. I hope this was useful and gave you a couple of tips and insights how to manage the sold out inventory on your store. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you soon.